James on keys, he um, organised the whole thing, and I think it was just um, beautiful, and it's exactly what I wanted from the music. So, um, there is more stuff over there. Where have the guys gone? <laughs> right, any going help them again? <laughs> um, for the band, I'll name them uh, someone here. There's James and Nicky who aren't here at the moment. Uh, there's Johnny G on bass. Are you there? Stand up, Johnny. Everyone, give us a hand. Normally, when James has a wedding and he's looking for a guitarist, he'd bring me. So that was a bit of a problem for my wedding. Um, so I was racking my brain to so think, um, and we found this man, an ex pupil of mine, Mr. Raoul Newman. So stand up, Raoul. Give him a round of Oh yeah, <laughs> the most important. Um, I'm sure you'll agree that the singing today is absolutely beautiful. I think, um, and um, I think it was my sister. I don't know if any of you knew, but the the blonde one, not the black one, that's the weird. He's my sister. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think it's hard for her today because I think she was saying she was a bit choked from the first song. I think she did really well to get through that and. Sing beautifully the whole choir. And so, girls, we give you. Let's give that round of applause. Thank you. And of course, Eddie was on drums. <laughs> right. So, I'll try and spit something out. Right, um, a good band in a, ch in a church like that will not ever sound good without someone to hold all the sound together. And um, <coughs> I've got a bit of a liberty um, asking Dan, because it's a bit of his job to kind of do sound and that, that kind of thing. But then I realised he maybe tries to Lincolnshire for his wedding, so I felt all right about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, thanks to Dan to open the church today and getting all the sound exactly right. It's really good, Dan, um, and making sure everyone could hear everything. So Dan Swan, everyone. especially Anne and myself, would like to thank Judy for um, organising yeah. the wedding car. Yeah. Uh, organising the wedding car and the son to drive it. Um, but I think Jen would mostly thank you, like to thank you for keeping us sane every day in the classroom. Uh, Judy's Jen's classroom assistant and um, second, yeah. second mum, right. I think, generally. And um, I think Jen uh, cannot say enough about the support that she gives her. So uh, we've got we've got something for Judy and Daniel. Judy's going to take both of them. That's all right. So let's give Judy a round of applause. Yeah. Uh, just a couple more. Um, so we sorted out the bride getting to the church, but then that would leave the bridesmaids all at Jen's parents' house. If it weren't for Chris. Step in, Chris, uh, Lizzie's boyfriend, and um, just a brilliant help. We've actually got something for you, but it's not here. I've left it in the fridge at my mum's house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's a book. Thank you very much. So let's give Chris a round of applause. <laughs> right, okay, so toast today. Um, Jen really, really relies on her friends, and um, three special ones, uh, no, they're all special, sorry, but Jen had to pick some of them to be bridesmaids, because I don't think we could have gone through the palaver of getting them in dresses, uh, more than anything else. Um, but, and um, Jen's sister Caroline as well, I mean, they've been brilliant supporting Jen, and um, just really helpful when things may not have gone quite as, as we wanted 
Um, I'm sure you'll agree they all look really beautiful today. Yeah. So, uh, first post, I want to do upstanding teams. And I'm going to post the bridesmaids. Bridesmaids. 